All right, guys, welcome back to another Cichlidscape video. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate all the love and support that we get on this channel. Today's video is a little bit different. It's actually a hookup to save you basically lifting buckets and killing you back when you're doing water changes. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so as some of you may know, my wife and I just recently moved into a two bedroom apartment while we're waiting for our new house to be built and this little pump and hook up here has saved my back a lot of trouble. As at this time I'm only having to use buckets sparingly when I do gravel vacs and I'm using this little system to do water changes on these four tanks and the one 10 gallon aquascape that I've got. This technique I feel is really beneficial when you're living in rented accommodation and you can't tamper with any of the faucets. Just in case I broke it, I simply wouldn't know what to do. Um, but this thing right here is basically the back end of a siphon hose and I've just connected it with a coupler, a little bit of vinyl tubing and then connected it to a mag drive 5 pump I believe. And this is what I'm now using for my water changes so today I'm going to basically show you how it works and run you through the entire thing. So first things first, let's plug it in. Once it's plugged in, I do a brisk rush to the bathroom just to make sure that this siphon hose is still in the bath. And basically I'll do the entire 25 gallons. Don't worry about the palm trees. He's just there. We're trying to revive him. He's been struggling of late. Um, basically I'll just leave this running for probably about four or five minutes and this will drain half of the 55 gallon tank and it'll basically give these guys a 50% water change relatively quickly um, and just on a brief side note I'm absolutely loving this tank and these fish right now. Three, four minutes later, tank's pretty much drained to where I need it to go to. Fish are completely fine. I've got the heater still in there and still plugged in as well, seeing as though it's completely submerged. And now all I'm gonna do is basically just reverse it. So I'm gonna take this pump in the bucket, making sure I don't spill any water on the uh, floor as, as the wife doesn't really like it. So then I'll just get the faucet running, try and get it up to temperature. And then I'll take this and the sponge that I just used to disperse the water so it doesn't mess any of my gravel up, especially in the planter tanks, this is key. I'll basically just run this through, throw this in the tank and I can reverse it and get it going. Before starting up the pump I always get my dechlorinator in. I've got different teaspoon measurements. This one treats a 40 gallon, this one treats a 20 gallon, so I pretty much just use both, take a little bit off the 20 gallon, throw that in there, and now we're good to go. So let's get rolling, get the pump on. During the fill stage, I always like to make sure I've got a thermometer on hand just so I can check the temperature of the water as it's going in. I usually keep this tank at about 78 degrees, so I just like to check it periodically throughout the fill just to make sure that there's no massive fluctuations in the temperature going in. During this time I always like to have a little play with my good mate Bubba who as you can see is very interactive and will actually bite my finger because he thinks it's food. <laughs> but it's a good laugh, passes the time quicker. Alright guys, so there you have it. A nice little simple tip for you guys that live in apartments 
and don't want to be carrying buckets everywhere. Like I said, I do have to use buckets every now and again just for when I'm doing gravel vacs, but besides that, it's so limited to previously when I used to live in an apartment and I did buckets the whole entire time. So if you do live in an apartment, make sure you get a setup like this. It has really helped me so far. And overall, it's made it so much easier to do water changes on this setup. And I've actually been doing more because of that. So I would highly advise it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.